Hey guys and welcome back to another episode of me and Gen Z. I know it's a little later than usual but here we are. Uh, before we get into today's episode of course I have to remind you that if you like the content that you see to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on other videos that I post and if you have any topics that you want me to discuss in the future or any comments about the topics I'm discussing today please leave it down below. And with all of that out of the way let's get into today's episode. Okay guys, so I don't think today is going to be too long of an episode just because I'm filming this about, yeah, five minutes before I'm supposed to go to bed, which means I'm not going to be in bed in five minutes. It, I've been busy the whole day and um, yeah, but let's just get to it. So today at work, I opened my diary and it's one of those diaries where you um, have like a quote at the bottom of the page and this one was by Albert Einstein, which was about like evil in the world but you know the real evil being people who look at evil and do nothing about it and that made me think you know it's true that there are bad things happening every day in the world uh some on a really large scale and then some smaller things in our personal lives and that is actually kind of what i want to talk about because there are really big big problems in the world that we're going to struggle to do something about uh, we may, you know, feel like we want to do something about it, but, you know, we just can't. But are we actually, you know, doing something about the bad things, you know, even just happening around us in our own personal lives? Or are we just complaining about it? Are we just complaining about how something is unfair when we actually could have done something about it? And... I am not pointing fingers today because I'm I'm talking to myself as well because I think I, I'm guilty of this too. We complain a lot about the bad things and some of them we can't fix or some of them we can't change. But right now I'm pretty sure most of us can think of something where if we stood up uh, for what was right in that moment, we could have changed something, but we didn't for whichever reason we may have been scared you know or we thought you know it's this has nothing to do with me but then we go ahead and complain about the fact that you know oh that was unfair or this is bad i can't believe this is happening but you actually could have done something about it but you didn't so today i just want to talk about that a bit are we just complaining or are we actually doing something okay and i believe that once all of us start actually asking that question once all of us start you know uh, assessing if we actually stand up for what's right or to just complain about what's wrong we could actually make a big difference eventually because it's it's like it's like the same with everything else one person does it, another person does it, eventually it becomes a thing, a big thing, and then bigger things can be, become right. So today I just, I just wanted to think about that because that quote really like, I was like, you know, I'm someone who sometimes will just complain about, oh, this thing happened and I thought it was so unfair or have you seen this? It's so bad that this is happening. Now, of course, some of some of the things are outside of our power to fix. I understand. That's not what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about is the things that are within our control, that if we stand up for what's right or we, um, we, we do the right thing when someone else is doing the wrong thing, then that actually could make a small difference. Because... Everyone has to start in your own personal life. You can't actually think you're going to solve the world's biggest problems if you can't even solve the, the small unfair and, and bad things in your own life or the people around you. So I know sometimes there is risk involved with standing up for what's right, especially if we're talking about in a work environment. Uh, but you have to do, ask yourself, will I be able to live with myself knowing that I could have done something, but I didn't? Okay, so there's a lot of factors coming into this. First of all, am I just going to keep complaining? Or am I actually going to do something about it? Because if you're not willing to do something about it, and once again, I'm not pointing fingers because I'm, I'm putting myself in this category as well. It's because I saw the quote and I noticed a pattern of behavior uh, sometimes for myself and I think in the world as well so first of all am i just going to complain about the bad 
unfair things I see happening every day? Or am I going to try and make a difference? Am I going to try and stand up for what's right and do the right thing where I can, where it's within my power? Okay, because, and I'm, I'm saying this to myself as well, if you had the ability and you had the power to do the right thing in that moment or to fix the unfairness in that moment, but you didn't, I believe we lose our right to complain about it. Because if you could, but you didn't, then, then stop complaining because you could have changed it. Okay, so... That's the first thing. Are we just going to complain or are we actually going to try and do something about it? Okay. And I know it takes courage. I know it takes strength because it's not always easy. Um, it's not always an easy thing to do because sometimes there is actual risk involved. But you need to go look at yourself in the mirror one day and you want to like the person looking back at you. And I'm not speaking in the physical sense. I'm speaking in the in your soul okay do you want to look at yourself knowing that you never did anything you just sat there while the bad things were happening while you could have done something to change it but you didn't is that what you want to know and and i know it's it's a scary prospect to think about okay and it's a scary thing and 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 it takes a lot of uh courage to do so i'm not saying immediately you know go to the CEO of your company and you know tell him or her what 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 if if you're really scared and I get that we all are at some point in our lives very very scared start very very small start very very small and eventually your courage will build now with that with that said it is very important before you you know, uh, try to do the right thing, try to make things right, try to fix something that was unfair. Make sure that you assess the situation properly because you don't want to go knowing only half the story. Make sure that you have all the information and then decide, do I think that was fair? Was that the right thing? Was that a bad thing happening? Am I going to look at just one part of the story? I'm going to look at everything. You want to have all the facts at your disposal and you want to know the whole story, especially if it's in a situation where there is risk involved, where you have something to lose. Not having all the information could be a dire mistake. Okay, so that is another thing. Yes, we need to take action against the unfairness, against the like Albert Einstein said, the evil in the world, even if it's a very small thing. But we don't have to do that every single time because not, okay, not in every single situation because maybe some situations are actually fair. So I'm not saying go stand up for someone every single time they get reprimanded because maybe they did do something wrong. And that is where knowing all the information is important but if there is unfair treatment towards someone who hasn't done anything wrong you could vouch for them even if it's just small like oh no hey listen she helped me out the other day and I, I really think that you know she does a great job um, but if you know the whole story and you know you know okay this person was in the wrong they do deserve to be reprimanded you know but that doesn't mean you can't be supportive afterwards you can you can still say okay listen you know you made a mistake don't let it get you down. Learn from it. Do it better next time. But okay, that is a whole different story. But like I said, assess the situation. But don't let your assessment take so long that at the end of the day, you can't do anything about the situation. Because then you're basically just using another way of getting out of doing something. And like I said, I'm talking very broadly here, but I'm talking to myself as well because... We cannot complain about the evil in the world if we're not willing to do something to change it. And we're not going to fix everything, but we can start small. That is the, the message that I basically want to come get across. You can start in your own life with the people around you, the small things. You don't have to fix the world's problems because 
that's just not possible, okay? But you can start in your own life where you see something unfair, when you see something bad happening, when you've assessed the situation and you have all the information at your disposal and you know that what happened was unfair or even evil and you have the ability or the power to do something about it, then do it. The flip side of that coin is if you do have the power to do something about it, you need to decide wisely if it is right to use that power because you have to look at it rationally sometimes because if you're going to look at it emotionally every single time and that means your emotions and not the people involved is emotions then you may just do more harm than good because not everything you see as unfair is necessarily unfair so it is very important to assess a situation rationally look at the facts of the situation and then take action that is why i told, said as a part of the, the thing having all the information and assessing the situation is very important because you can't go based off your own emotions you need to look at the facts of the situation before you can take action but taking action is also very important when you have assessed the facts of the situation and you know and you know 100 percent that this should not have happened this was unfair this was evil and i can do something about it then mm -hmm. then i think it's uh almost our duty to do something but there is a very fine balance okay and we need to find it so that i'm gonna conclude my message with just with that first of all if you're not going to do anything about the bad things or the problems or the unfairness stop complaining about it okay that's the one thing and the other thing is to make sure that you if you're taking a risk you're willing to take the risk and okay no you should be willing to take the risk if you're taking the risk is it necessary to take the risk did you assess all of the facts are you looking at it rationally or emotionally was the other person actually in the wrong so assessing this, especially if you're taking a risk, assess the situation rationally with all the facts at hand, okay? And the most important part is, at the end of the day, you need to be able to look at yourself and say, I know I did everything in my power to make sure the right thing happened, okay? So that is my message for today. I know it was a bit all over the place, but I just, like, like I said, this is unscripted. This is just my thoughts. But uh, it also had to be done very, very quickly because I am, yeah, 10 minutes over my sleeping time and I'm just, you know, losing sleep, so much sleep. Uh, but that is my message for today, guys. I really hope you could relate because, like I said, I'm talking to myself as well. And this is basically just me sharing my thoughts. Comment down below what you thought or what uh, what you want to talk to me uh want me to talk about in other episodes if you're watching on youtube otherwise if you're listening on the podcast you can go uh comment on my social medias i hope you guys have a wonderful day and i will talk to you again soon bye